Hey guys, thanks so much for tuning into my channel once again. Today I did um, a natural glam makeup look, everyday look, and a elongated twist out style. If you wanna see how I got this look, stay tuned. I'm gonna start off by doing my brows and then I'm gonna do a little light eyeshadow, foundation, a little bit concealer, and pop on some everyday lashes for you guys. So for my brows, I'm not I'm not really good with like naming all this stuff, the types of brushes and all that. I'm just gonna do my thing. But uh, I'm using the Anastasia uh, Brow Dip Powder in Ebony for my brows. My left brow never wants to cooperate with my right one, but they say because they are sisters, not twins. And for my little concealer, I've been using this um, Koki Professional, Koki Professional Be Bright Concealer. Um, I don't see what the color is on this one, but it matches my skin pretty well, so I, I like this a lot to line my brows with to just give it that clean, crisp look. So then I take one of my little, I don't know, flat tip blending brushes. This one's double tip, so sometimes I just use this in to like blend in the concealer before I proceed to the next step. And then you can always go back and touch up if you feel like you messed up something like I feel like I did on this corner here. Then I take my Milk Hydro Primer and apply that all over my face. I don't always use my hands, but I wash them before I start the process because I'm really big on skincare and just maintaining a nat natural healthy look. Because a lot of times, I won't have time to do my makeup. I mean, even if it's just like a 30 minute, 20 minute application. If I'm sleeping, I'm like, enjoying my sleep, I'd rather sleep. <laughs> so, I want to be able to look good basically with or without makeup. And then I'm going to do um, my Fenty shades. And I also have my Born This Way. Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. Give these a little shake. I don't use too much from both of these, but um, for some reason, one did not work. One was like too warm, the other was too cool, so I mix them together, have a perfect neutral tone. And then I also like to do a little contouring with my Fenty um, Matchstick Espresso color. And I'm just kind of lightly pressing the makeup into my skin. I don't really like getting it on my hands, so I'll just put it directly to my face. Making sure to blend that neck, then back to the forehead. Then I go within my concealer, then my match stick for a little contouring. I'm probably gonna put some more of this after I blend in my concealer, just because it tends to dif disappear once I blend that part in. And for that, I use my little Sephora brush, uh, multi-tasker face, 202. Love this brush, it's awesome. Just brighten it under those eyes. Then I take my Fenty Honey Setting Powder, use that same beauty blender, and go in under my eyes, and between my nose, wherever it'll crease, I just go and put that, and then blend in my contouring. You gotta make sure to really blend that in because you just wanna look really natural. Remember, this is everyday natural glam, but you also wanna really see those cheekbones and that dimension that your skin naturally has, but once you put on foundation, it goes away. So, you know, gotta bring it back. I also like to go over my face with this Sephora Micro Smooth 
but once I wipe off the powder, I'll go in with a bigger brush, um, a powder brush, and apply this. And I'll also kind of remove it with which one I want to use. This little fluffy brush. I told you I'm not good with brush names, but I know what I want to use, so. Then on the skinny tip, I'll go and blend in the contouring around my nose. I did not forget about the eyeshadow or eyeliner. It's just going to be so minimal that you don't need a lot of time for that. I like the Too Faced Naturals. It's, um, which palette is this? It's the Neutral Eyeshadow Palette, and it has several different colors. I kind of stick within my brown family for my eyeshadows. My crease, I think it's what it's called. I use the darker one, Windshield Wiper Motions, and just blend that out. And as you can see, I didn't put in any concealer on my eyelid or anything because I want it to look really natural and blend very easily. And I'm going to go in and use a shade lighter to go under the brow. But it's still, it's called Cashmere Bunny. It's so cute. The other one was Sexpresso. So, Cashmere Bunny. Go up a little bit higher just to give it that, that neutral shade and blend in a little bit more right under the brow. And if you want to add a little extra glitter, the chocolate martini has a little glitter in it. So you can also go on there and add a little sparkle right on the lid. And then I'm going to take my micro smooth and apply that all over. Then I'm going to take my eyeliner. You can do it thick, thin, however you like. Make sure to carry it all the way down as close as you can to that lash line. And take a little mascara. This is a Excessive Lash by Makeup Forever. Um, this is one bronzer that I got from the Beauty Carnival at Essence. Um, I had a little VIP ticket and in the VIP lounge they were doing like makeup stuff and you had this bag that you got and this was one of the um, items by Estee Lauder that was in there and it's Bronze Goddess Solar Crush. Love it. It hadn't even been released at the time. So that's one of the things that I really like about going to different conferences and conventions. And I just take a little kind of fluffy brush like this, tap it in there and just put it like right above where I do my contouring and then I'll go back and put my highlight right above that. You can just kind of bring it all across, just warm your nose up a little bit. If you don't want to put any um, highlighter after it, I wouldn't be mad. This works perfectly. I have also a little blush, Copper Tone Powder Blush by MAC. Just go and add a little bit of blush. I know a lot of people um, like to put their highlighter on before, I mean, after they, um, do their setting spray, but I don't know. I just, I like to do it because I want it to be more subtle. And I really like Hustler Baby because it has like this kind of pinkish, goldish tone. It's really, really pretty. Take my brow gel, go over my brows, put a little black eyeliner under. This LA Girl Shockwave, really like it. Goes on really smooth and easy and I don't want any of the eyeliners that I have to struggle with. And this part is totally optional. Everybody is not comfortable with putting on um, eyelashes. That's fine. As long as you have some mascara. And you can even do mascara on the bottom lid if you're comfortable with that. This is just regular old duo lash, uh, lash glue. Typically just pop on some lip gloss. This is the Universal Gloss Bomb uh, by Fenty. As you can see, I'm pretty much a fan of Fenty Beauty. I've been using the Cover FX, the mattifying setting spray. I really like it. They were saying how much it um, has like a bunch of natural ingredients, not harmful, harmful to the environment or the skin. So um, I purchased it from Sephora and I actually really like it. 
And sometimes what I'll do is take like a foundation brush or a blending brush and just go and press in my setting spray. So I'm gonna take down my hair, be back in a sec so you can see how the whole look came together. I just did a little twist out, a dry twist out actually because I deep conditioned my hair. I blew it out um, just to go ahead and trim it. It was time for my quarterly trim. And, and I just twisted it in like a bunch of big twists all over. <laughs> I put a few bobby pins in it to hold it in place at the root because when I do my twists so big they tend to unravel a bit and then it'll give it some variation um, in the curl when it doesn't stay when the tension isn't even all throughout start on twisting the parts are not perfect they are definitely crooked and I like to do that because it diffuses the lines in my hair and I don't have to wait for that to go away. And I actually twisted it with like this Kevin Murphy um, fiber cream called Undressed. It's like a lightweight um, moisturizing cream that helps to define your curls without weighing your hair down. I really like that. I don't like my hair going in my face, so I'll typically twist all of them going back, even though it's elongated, because I'd rather it fall back instead of forward. I really like this big, messy, stretched out fro look. Um, anybody who knows me knows that I love big hair, so I'm always gonna do stuff that will give me a voluminous look, and does not take out the texture in my hair but when I do want it stretched I like to have a little you know movement and bounce in it I will blow it out and do a dry twist sometimes and these could have been twisted a little bit longer but that's okay it still gives me a look similar to what I like to go for especially when I want to do something a little more dressed up but still natural I love it love 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 and tonight I'm probably going to retwist it back down so that I can carry over this look for another day or two before I detangle and deep condition and moisturize and all that stuff all over again. Because I'm trying to do a four day regimen for my hair to see if that's going to help um, retain length and moisture and density um, to not get as much shedding or breakage with the color. So here's my finished look. Leave me a comment below. Tell me what you think. Tell me if you think I missed anything, if I should add anything, if you think this is doable for, you know, an everyday glam look that'll take you maybe about 20 to 30 minutes or so, um, maybe with or without the lashes and the natural twist out. If you want to see more in-depth hair tutorials, let me know about that too. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Thanks for watching.